Hello, my name is Jim Brown. I'm the Customer Service Manager for Metron Farnier and Transparent Technologies. And today I'm going to show you how to install an Innovate Register on a Metron meter. And these instructions will apply for all new and used six dial Metron meters. Um, all six dial meters, with the exception of the Spectrum 22, are going to have this same size register plate. Now, if you're retrofitting, if you're putting the Innovate register on an older five dial, you're going to need a different housing. That's the only difference here in the installation. So, what I'm going to assume here is that you've got um, a new six dial, an old six dial that is uh, not a Spectrum 22. And what we're going to need is obviously the meter. This is uh, a Spectrum 132 inch top loader. And you're going to need the housing with the lid that's appropriate for the meter that you're using. You're going to obviously need the Innovate register itself. You're going to need a nut driver with the tri-wing bit. You're going to need the set screw, the tamper-proof screw with the tri-wing head. You're going to need this slide crimp. And this is the top snap ring for the register housing. There's two different ways to do it. I'm going to show you the, the long way first, and then I'll show you a quicker way to do it. But what you need to do is you need to install this crimp slide into its appropriate place on the register. It just slides up there. And what that does is the, we're going to set a screw through here. And when that screw um, tightens, it's going to crimp this and close this end up and, and tighten the register on the register plate. There is a right way and a wrong way to do that. We don't want to do it this way. That will make too much distance for the screw to cover. So we want to turn it the appropriate direction there. Okay, and I'm just going to slide that in there and hold that from the inside and put this right over the register plate there. Now we want to put the register in there. The Innovate slides right in and the antenna is opposite the hinge so that the lid can go and close over the antenna. This is the top snap ring, the register top ring snaps into place. You can hear it click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide that slide crimp up just enough to catch it with the set screw. And we're going to set the screw. I mentioned there was a second way to install the register on the register plate and that simply amounts to putting all the components of the register into place and then setting the whole unit down on the register plate. So the installation is the same, it's just important that when you put the slide crimp in you just get that screw started enough to catch that crimp. We want to leave it with enough play there to expand so we can fit that over the register base. go and then you just crimp it on.